Are you nervous? Yeah. You've never done an interview before? No, that was someone as talented. Where's the beef jerky? Can you let me get to it, David Dober? Oh, I'm just hungry, man. I know, that's how I got you. <laughs> Welcome back to I've Got Beef. Uh, today we're here with David Dobrik, YouTube sensation uh, and podcast icon. Podcast icon. You should have started with that. Uh, Welcome back to Beef with David Dobrik, and today he's a podcast icon. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Beef. I'm sure your assistant Natalie has told you all about our show. Bro, she didn't need to. I've been, I've been keeping up with the show for so long. Long, such a big fan. It's true. I, David was DMing me a few months back trying to get on, but we were so busy with bookings. Like we had Jason Nash on here. What? Yeah. I missed that episode. Oh yeah, this is one of the first ones we did. We had Josh Peck. Missed that episode too. Todd Smith. Missed that one too. Scott Sire. You know what? I think I've missed all these episodes. Okay, but you're a big fan. Big fan. Huge fan. Okay. Well, a lot of people are comparing us to the Ellen DeGeneres show. Wow. So David, Bold. take a look under the seat and see what's there. Okay. Oh. Sh no way. David, what do we got? Holy crap. <laughs> Where's the pepper? There might be one more under there. <laughs> Those are my requirements for the show. Yes! Pepper beef with David Dobrik. This is my favorite. Joe's like, can you do the show? I'm like, only one condition. There has to be pepper beef jerky. Here we are. And here it is. I caught David when he was hungry, and this is just perfect timing. How do I do it? Do I just eat it and leave? No, <laughs> no, we, we talk questions. We gotta make sure the camera's on. We have to talk? Yeah. Is, there... the, is the mic on? Oh. No, it wasn't, but we'll be fine. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna open it. You're not gonna open the required one? No, I'm opening like the, the, the not good one first. You know, everyone doesn't like the flavored one. It's very Let's weird. See. Oh, it's zesty. Wow, okay. Sweet Chipotle? I'm ready for these questions, baby. Are you ready for I Have Beef? Mm-hmm. All right. David, favorite video you've ever posted? Probably when I cut my hand open. I was part of that. You filmed most of it. I did. If you weren't filming, the video wouldn't have been the same. Because really? I think you caught the incident. Yeah. Yeah. You were just like, hey, let's throw some glass bottles and see what happens. You never know. What dinosaur would you dream to ride? <laughs> Honestly, probably a pterodactyl. Fly around? Yeah. You're a smart guy. That'd be awesome. And they're huge, probably. Mm-hmm. I mean, the yeah. dinosaurs. You can get like five people on there? Yeah. What's been your biggest blessing since vlogging? This one's really good. Since vlogging? Garlic chili pepper. So that's after I met Liza, after I met all of you guys. Um, probably just like, probably just like everyone still sticking around and watching the videos. Yeah? Nuts to me. Did you ever think that you'd have this much of an audience just enjoying your stuff? No, I, maybe I'm fine. I thought for a second, but no, YouTube I never expected it. YouTube was like the last place. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, no, I'm super pumped. So you just picked up the camera and just started filming your friends? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Easy as that. Have you ever done something crazy for the vlogs that you couldn't post? Yeah. That thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's pretty nuts. You've been doing it for so long. Of course, there's been like a lot of sexual stuff and like things are like yeah. But that one was the only one that's really like yeah. Can you put this question in the interview? Go for it. That was part one. Congratulations. <laughs> part two. Favorite song at the moment. I like "Live in the Moment" by Portugal the Man. Yeah, you're a big fan of them. Uh, so far, only like two of their songs. But I haven't given them, like, a listen to all these songs. Those are the only two songs I listen to. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> They're your favorite songs at the moment. Yeah. Uh, will there be a Views podcast tour this summer? Oh, this is great, but it's like, it's like I'm on, like, Jimmy Fallon, and you're, like, giving me my chance to plug it. What? What's it's coming? Jimmy Fallon? This Me? summer, there will be a podcast tour, nine different cities. I think we're announcing it a week from today, a week from Friday. So get ready. Try this one. No, it's hot. Uh, you know, like, hot? No. These are great. That one? I don't think I tried that one. This one's really good. I want to be on the show more. David, you're always welcome back. Yeah. I, again, you, you were DMing on Instagram, emails. I know Natalie even offered to pay me to get you on the show. But yeah. We were desperate. The video you're most proud of? Probably my Seth prank where he made The that. second one? Yeah, the second one. I really think you should make the third one. I know. That'd be so funny if you can get him to make that again. You're right. That would be nuts, huh? Yeah. Seth, he's coming for you. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> uh, first impression on Joe. <laughs> he seems like he really likes taking pictures. Because I remember when I first met you, I, I think I met you at the Chateau. What's that? Oh, oh yeah, for the niche party. Yeah. Yeah. I met you there, you had a big camera in your hand, and you were like, I like to shoot stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, yeah, he's really into it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a great impression. Yeah. That was right when Jason started doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I started helping him. Yeah, you, you filmed his intro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. He was sexy on the beach then. Yeah. I really want to redo it, do like a, a follow-up. Yeah, you should. Um, will you be buying Elon Musk's new perfume, Elon's Musk. Is that true? I don't think so. This person doesn't have an AVI, so it could be so, fraudulent. I just bought his flamethrower. Did it come yet? 
No, I'm excited though. What? Wasn't it coming in April? I'm gonna burn everyone's house down. <laughs> God. That would be great. Wasn't it supposed to come in April? I think so. You're right, it should have come in. I don't know, maybe maybe my assistant stole it. She doesn't want you to have it? Yeah. <laughs> She's like a mom She's assistant. She's like my mom, yeah. You wanna try this beef? You said no, right? Can yeah. I try this sweet ch chipotle one? Yeah, you really like it. They're really soft. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. Crave, Crave is really good. Crave's the best. Guys, check out Crave. I'm kidding, this isn't a... No? No. I tried. I tried. And uh, they said they were gonna send it to me, but then they just never did. These are the hard hitting ones that I have. Was there any point in your career where you thought your career was over? There's been like seven vlogs where I've been like, ah, crap. People didn't like this one. Really? Where I'm like, it's over, it's going downhill. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm super dramatic. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's tough seeing hate comments on something you spend so much time on. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's pretty obvious, but it's just like, and even like, it's the worst when you know it's like not the best, and you and you see the comments, and you're like, I know, I know, but please don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, tr it already hurts that this wasn't the best I could have done, and it's out there, but now you're rubbing it in my face. It's tough. You, especially, I think, with you, because you, you do three days a week on that day, so you're forced to have it done by like a deadline. Yeah, 100%. And granted, that, that's the best part. It's cool, but it's also kind of the more difficult part because you also film with other people and if they're not on their A game, we're able to deliver like something really yeah. good too. The, the, the problem is if I went like once a week, then people would expect too much. Yeah. They'd be like, oh my guy's going once a week. He's probably gonna make these huge, they're gonna be amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I have to stay three times a week. Were you nervous for your 421? Yeah, because people were like, they were expecting so much. I was so fucking scared. Yeah. And a lot of my ideas fell through so what was your biggest idea for that that fell through? Uh, I don't want to say because I'm still gonna do it at one point. What's another idea that you're not gonna do? Um, we had like a little idea of like of crashing a car through the the wind the window of his house. Oh my god! <laughs> we couldn't get like a ramp uh -huh. that would perfectly fit the car into the in through and through the window. It, it was a little complicated. It was weird. Do you was the piano one because originally you wanted to do the drop lift too, right? And the piano the, we did this we did this thing in the piano we did this bit with a piano where we dropped a piano on a Porsche. Here it is. And things are fun. What the f are you doing? What are you doing? And, uh, or maybe it's not, I don't know. <laughs> um, and originally it was supposed to be a piano on a crane. Yeah. And then it was supposed to fall onto like a Ferrari, but we couldn't get our hands on a Ferrari. So we got a Porsche. It still came out cool. I liked it. Yeah. Do you ever need alone time and where do you go? I drive. Yeah. Yeah, I love driving. When I'm driving by myself, I'm so f***ing happy. It's the happiest I can be. I feel like a drive to Vegas would be really nice. It's too, that's too long. You like two hour drives? Yeah. Like, no, like an hour drive. An hour drive is perfect for me. Mm. What was your aha moment where you were like, okay, this is real? Like with the, like with like the vlogs? Yeah. And like how they're doing great. Dude, it's every f***ing day I wake up in, in my house. I'm like f***ing mind blown. Like I'm like, what the this, this is my life. I'm like, what the hell? Dude, the fact that I have like my, my favorite car in the world in my driveway blows my mind. <laughs> every day, like every day, like my, my sister every day and I'm just like, I'm just like, what the f*** is going on? Like, are you seeing this view? Yeah. It's crazy. That's it's so funny. It's it's and it's, it's literally every day. Like I can't I can't get over it. I'm so so f***ing lucky. And I'm sorry if I sound like a prick, but no, not at all. You work so hard for it. I is, appreciate it. Is this house like your dream house? Like you want to stay there for a while? The one I'm at? Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like a person will never like a person will never be satisfied, right? Right. But it's like it's like my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm gonna want something bigger. You know what I mean? Like yeah. If the opportunity came and they were like, hey, here's a free house, a lot bigger and nicer. I'd be like, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, I think that's all we got. Those are really good. Thank you so much. Hey, of course. Is there, um, I thought I had more. 80 calories? So that both, it's probably like four people though. Three people. Yeah. And that is it. David Dobrik, thanks so much for coming on I Have Beat. Thank you so much. I thought this was going to be a show where we like talk shit about people. No, see, the whole thing is we're supposed to have beef, so people are like, oh my god, they're feuding, and then they come in, and then we trick them by just eating beef. No, oh, Yeah, the old Josh Peck says, bait and switch. We got you guys. Pranks. Do you want to plug anything else? Um, no. You got Joe's merch. It's true. Don't know what it means, but check it out. <laughs> David, come on. I don't know what it means. No, his merch, I actually, I really like his merch. I, I will be honest. Thanks, It's Steve. cool because, because like, you don't have to watch Joe to necessarily like the shirt. For sure. And I don't, and I like the show. <laughs> sure. Thanks, thanks, dude. Thanks, David. And if we just look at the camera and shake, because the beef has been squashed. The beef has been squashed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was in like a press junket. <laughs> oh, what? Like I feel like you know like when you know like when people like are in movies like do these like tours yeah. and they go from like different press <laughs> press booth kind of thing yeah 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 I felt like this is one and now I'm hopping over to the next one <laughs> can we just do a thumbnail real quick yeah can you like get me in like a headlock.